name is Rebecca and today I'm hopefully going to be teaching you how to tell the difference between something that is PR and something that is propaganda. But before we do that, we actually have to find out what is PR and what is propaganda. I'm going to start with propaganda because chances are most people already have some idea of what it is. I mean, it was a common theme in a lot of history lessons in school and the Nazis did use it extensively. The Collins Online Dictionary definition of propaganda is information, often inaccurate information, which a political organisation publishes or broadcasts in order to influence people. Hitler understood this. He knew that he could influence people and he knew to what extent he could. As he wrote in his book Mein Kampf, all effective propaganda must be limited to a very few points and must harp on these slogans until the last member of public understands what you want him to. Now we're going to move on to PR as it has a more positive reputation, which is quite fitting considering the fact that the Chartered Institute of Public Relations, public relations being what PR stands for, states that PR is all about reputation. It's the result of what you do, what you say and what others say about you. It has the aim of earning understanding and support and influencing opinion and behaviour. Morris and Goldsworthy add to this, stating that PR is the planned persuasion of people to behave in ways which further its sponsor's objectives. Now that we've got the definitions out of the way, it's easy to see how anyone can get them confused. I mean, they are pretty similar and to be honest, I did the same. But once you know what to look for, you'll be able to tell the difference soon enough. The most indisputable is the use of, or lack of in some cases, truth and fact. PR has to be able to be fact checked. After all, if it is found to be even somewhat untruthful, then it can be damaging to the organisation's reputation, the very opposite of what PR aims to do. Not my problem. Propaganda, on the other hand, uses things more like half-truths and exaggerates a lot, but it also plays on the fear of the audience to get them to do and behave in a way that the propagandist wants them to. Think of it like propaganda is more forceful than PR. PR kind of coerces its audiences into influencing it to make the right decisions whereas propaganda tells audiences what is the right decision and if they do not make that right choice then there will be dire consequences. Now let's look at some examples. Here is an example of propaganda. As you can see it plays on the audience's fears and is a bit of an exaggeration. We know that Hitler was not actually that big. However, Japan and Hitler were some of the USA's biggest enemies at the time and there is a threat of invasion, which is what American citizens did not want. They wanted to remain the land for free. And here is a recent example of a PR campaign. This was done by Now TV and is inspired by that famous scene in Love Actually. They took inspiration from that scene to deliver messages to loved ones who were socially distancing and this enabled customers to feel that they were more understood by their company and therefore built a stronger reputation. Well, I hope that helped you out somewhat. Please feel free to leave a like and comment below and bye for now!